Hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial for EdPy. In this video, we're going to be talking about if, else, and else if. Now, if, el if, and else are ways of getting Edison to react to things as Edison is going through a program. So, if in its very simple form is essentially you're going to run the indented code if your condition is true. So, with our first little if that we've got set up here, I've got a variable called x that is equal to 10. And then the very first if statement is if x equals 10, play a beep. Now this means that when this piece of code is run, Edison should beep because that's exactly what if is there to do. If is there to determine if something is true and x does equal 10 because that's what we've set it up to equal. So therefore, we should have this beep play. Now, uh, in this case, what we can do is like if you place any code after this that's out of the indent, it will determine if x is equal to 10, it will play that beep, and then it will move on and do whatever else is happening. So if x is equal to 10, it plays the beep, and then it does the next things, and if x isn't equal to 10, it skips the play beep and does whatever is next. Therefore, uh, we can change that up a little bit by doing an else here. So if and else run together when they are close like this, and so in this case, we've got if x equals to 12, which of course it's not, because at the moment it is set to 10, uh, it's going to play a beep, and otherwise it's going to play a tone. Now, what would happen now is if I change this to 12, what's actually going to happen is Edison's going to hit this first if and not play a beep, get to the second if, play this beep, but then it's going to ignore the else and it's going to jump on down and do the rest of the code. But if we set this back to 10, then what you'll see is that Edison will play this beep and then Edison's going to ignore this play beep because x is not equal to 12, x is equal to 10. Uh, so it's going to do the thing in the else case, which is the play tone. So we'd get a beep and then get an A for two seconds. So it's a, it's a long A, so it's very easy to distinguish the difference between the play beep and the tone. Moving on down, this stuff gets a lot more powerful when you actually use it to read the sensors, Edison sensors, and work out what's going on outside and get Edison to react to different things in different ways. So I've got a very quick example here where this time I set x equal to read IR data. Now this means that if Edison has received data from a different Edison, it's going to store whatever that data was into x. So this means that if the data that we've received from this other Edison is a 1, we're going to play a beep. Else if, so else if is where you want to do an else case, so we don't want x equal to 1, where it's not equal to 1, but we also want to check if it's equal to something else. So this is a, this basically is an if where you've got x equals to 2, but also x is not equal to 1, because of course if x was equal to 1, it would do this and ignore everything else and jump down further, whereas else if is basically x is not equal to 1, but x is equal to 2. And I can keep adding else ifs down the line. And basically what an else if means is whatever condition you put here, and also not equal to any of the conditions above it in the line. So therefore, if we got a 1, it would play a beep. If we got a 2, it would play the same tone that we've had earlier. Otherwise, it would do a drive forward for 20. Now, the important thing to realize here is that if we don't get any data from any other Edison, it's going to jump down and do this else condition and it's going to run this drive and run the rest of it. So this is a very quick little example, but line tracking is a much better example of how this stuff all works. So in line tracking, as you can see, we turn on our line tracker and then we run an infinite loop, which is this big outer loop here. And then we say if Edison is sitting on the white line, we want to turn towards the right, basically. This is what this line means. It means to drive to the right at speed one, and then otherwise we're going to drive to the left. So basically what happens here is that this loop happens very, very, very quickly. Edison reads the state of the, the line every single time, and if it's on white, it starts turning towards the right, and if it's on black, it starts turning towards the left and it kind of wobbles back and forth across the line. So there you go, that is if and else, it's basically how to get Edison to react to the outside world. Hope you guys have enjoyed that one and we'll see you in the next video.